Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the inherited virtual attributes and also the hierarchical nature of the virtual functions. So when a virtual function is inherited, its virtual nature is also inherited. This means that you know, when a derived class that has inherited a virtual function is itself used as a base class for another derived class, the virtual function can still be overridden. So in other words, we can say that, you know, no matter how many times a virtual function is inherited, it remains virtual. All right. In this tutorial for the demonstration purpose, let's create a class called person. So here before my main function, I'm going to write class and person and we're going to have uh, our introduce method in this class person and it's going to have the public access specifier. So it's going to be void introduce and it's not going to take any parameters and it's just going to say hi from person. All right. Now let's end this line. All right now we have a class person you know which has a public meta you know it just prints hi from person and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a class you know which is gonna inherit from this class person so let's say it's gonna be class student and uh, it's gonna be public inheritance so public and then the base class name which is person in this case and then and here in this derived class student we're gonna override this method so i'm gonna copy this and paste it here and i'm just gonna change this one to student and here you know when we have a virtual function in a base class when we override that method or the function in the derived class you know the compiler is gonna call the derived class method you know when we access that using the base class reference so here you're gonna make this one virtual in the base class so it's gonna be virtual void introduce and here it's gonna be only introduce all right now to demonstrate that you know when uh, a virtual function is inherited you know its virtual nature is also inherited what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, create another class you know which is gonna inherit from this class student so let's say it's gonna be class graduate student or g student and uh, this one is gonna inherit from this student class so this student class which is a derived class from this class person is gonna be the base class for this g student so it's gonna be public and uh, student and now in this G student class also we can override the method the base class method so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it here and we're gonna say hi from graduate student so graduate student all right now we have a class called person you know which has a virtual method called introduce and then we have a class student which is inheriting from the class person and uh, also we are overriding the virtual method of the base class in this derived class and we have another class called g student which is inheriting from the class student and uh, here also we are overriding the base class meta okay and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build a method which is going to take the parameter which is of type person and then we're going to call the introduce meta so it's going to be void and let's call it as who is this and uh, it's going to take a parameter of type person so it's going to be person and it's going to take the reference so and symbol and let's say p and in this function body what i'm going to do is i'm going to call the introduce method and that's it all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the object of this class person object of this class student and also an object of this class graduate student and we're gonna pass that to this who is this function so it's gonna be person and let's say anil and then it's gonna be student and anjali 
and it's gonna be graduate student or G student let's say Rashmit alright the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna call this who is this function and we're gonna pass these objects so it's gonna be who is this and uh, I'm gonna pass Anil and I'm gonna copy this and paste it two more times and I'm gonna change the object reference so it's gonna be Anjali and it's gonna be Rashmit alright now we have three classes called person class student and class graduate student and we have a method which is gonna take the parameter of type person and it's gonna call the introduce method and uh, now I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run this so now since this introduce method in this class person is virtual you know when we use this who's this and pass the object of this class person you know it's gonna call the introduce method in that person only that's why we get high from person and then we passed an object of this class student at that time what happened is since this introduce method of this base class is virtual you know the method in the derived class is called and that's why we get high from student and in the third case since this graduate student inherit from this class student and this student inherits from this class person you know this virtual nature is also inherited and that's why you know when we pass this graduate student object to the who is this function and uh, we refer that using a type of person because of the inherited virtual attributes you know we get high from graduated student so from this example we can say that you know the virtual nature of the functions is inherited and the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is about the hierarchy of the virtual methods so here let's say this graduate student class is not gonna override this introduce method so i'm gonna delete this now when we pass an object of this graduate student and here when we call this introduce method you know since that method is not present in the derived class the method of the base class is called and the base class of this graduate student is student and that's why you know which prints high from student so just to demonstrate that i have removed the introduce method in the g student and i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this and now you guys can see high from person that's from this um, person object anil and then high from student which is from this student object anjali and then we get high from student that's from this graduate student object rashmit and because of the absence of the overridden method in the graduate student class you know the method in the base class of this graduate student which is the method in the student class is called and that's why we get high from student in the third line so this is it guys this is about the inherited virtual attributes and also the hierarchical nature of the virtual methods in c++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page and stay updated with the latest videos that we make and i'll see you in the next tutorial